Okay, when you are fixing your side mirror, um, roughly what you want is you want about half of your mirror to be the car and other half to be the road. So right now my mirror is fixed kind of sort of like that. Um, it's roughly half of my mirror is the car and the other half is the road. If I move the mirror out, you see now I'm seeing more of the road than I'm seeing of my car. If I move it in, I go back to about half and half. If I go too far in, I'm seeing mostly the car and very little of the road. All right, so ideally what you want is you want to be able to see half of your car. Uh, the mirror should be half car and half road. And uh, that's a decent place to put it at. Um, also, uh, the way I like to have it is whenever you're at whatever position or however, you, however you're sitting in the car, um, um, if you have the mirror too high, you're seeing too much of the back window there, that's too high. That's not going to give you a good enough view of the road and how close you are to the curb. So I like to push it down to where I could just, I barely cannot see any more of the back window. So about roughly about right here is where I like it. Um, it could be even a little bit lower. That's that's good also. Um, what you want don't want is you don't want it too low. So if you have it too like too low like this, where you're seeing that whole area where your tire is, where your back tire is, um, and you're not seeing the back of the car, that's not good either. Because when it's when the mirror is too low, you're going to be seeing more of the road. Um, um, and then you're going. The space is gonna. It's gonna look like you have more space than you really do. All right. So you don't want that, um, unless you're used to that. Some people, if you, you you know, you might lower it like that, so that way you can see it exactly where your tire is and how much space you have. And if you get used to parking like that, it can still work. Um, but I would say for most people, um, don't have it that low. You want a perspective. You want to be able to see where your car is where everything is in relation to your vehicle like the curb the back of the car this i believe gives you a better perspective of how close you you are getting to the curb when it's too low you have a tendency to get closer than than you really should and think that you have more space than you really do and then you wind up running out of space and hitting the curb when it's too high when your mirror is too high you cannot see enough of the road and then um, you'll be stopping, you have a tendency to stop um, reversing into the space too early and then you'll have a tendency to be too wide all right either one any mirror position can work it's all um, um, depending on what you get used to and what your perspective is, perspective perspective is and um, and how you like the park um, so you can get used to actually any mirror position and it can actually work but ideally this is what I like I like it a little uh, 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 where I, I can barely see the back window or none of the back window um, and I like it where I'm seeing half of my car half of the road and um, that I believe gives the best perspective as far as how close you're actually getting to the curve.